Hey everybody, this is Paul. So in the last video I showed you guys how we can convert an unsigned binary number into a whole number. So now I'm going to show you how we can convert a whole number into an unsigned binary number. So in the last video I showed you guys that 101 is the binary representation for the whole number that we know to be 5. So this one is base 10, the 5 is base 10, and the 101 is going to be a base 2 representation, or a binary representation. So I showed you guys how to go from the binary to the base 10 in the last video. In this video I'm going to show you how to go from the base 10 to the binary. So the best way to do this, at least my favorite way, there's multiple ways to do this, but my favorite way goes like this. We take the base 10 number and we divide it by the number 2. And basically what we do is we write our answer in terms of a remainder. So 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2 with a remainder of 1. And so then the next step in the process, and we just kind of continue and repeat this over and over again until we get to a certain situation. But the next step in the process is basically we take the number that's in this position and we move it to the front. And then we divide that by 2 again. So in this case, our number happened to be 2, so we just put the 2 out front, and then we just keep on dividing by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 with a remainder of 0. And then we continue the process. This time we move this 1 over to the front, so we're moving the 1 to the front, just like we did the 2 previously, because it's whatever number is in this position that we move to the front. And we just divide that number by 2, and we find that 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0 with a remainder of 1. And so basically this is the situation we're looking for right here. When we get to 0 with a remainder of 1, we know that we're done with the process. So then the next step is we're basically, we start with this one right here, and that becomes the first number. This one right here becomes the second number of our binary notation and that one right here will be the third and we just kind of keep on going up the list. We only had three, uh, three numbers this time so basically 1, 0, and 1. So we've got this 1, 0, 1 and that basically represents the number 5. If we were dealing with base 10 then we would have the number 5. If we're dealing with base 2 or binary we have the number 1, 0, 1. So let's do another example. Let's go ahead and look at a bigger number here, just to kind of let the point sink in. So let's just go ahead and erase this since I kind of took up the whole space here. And we're going to do a bigger one here. This time we're going to do the number 53. So let's just go ahead and look at 53 here. And we're going to do the same process that I just showed you guys. So we have 53. We divide it by 2, just like we did before. And we just keep on doing this until we get 0 with a remainder of 1. So 53 divided by 2 is equal to 26 with a remainder of 1. Now we move this 26 out front here. So we have 26 divided by 2 is equal to 13 with a remainder of 0. Move the 13 out front now. 13 divided by 2 is equal to 6 with a remainder of 1. Now we move the 6 out front. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 with a remainder of 0. Moving the 3 out front now. 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1 with a remainder of 1. And now moving the 1 out front. 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0 with a remainder of 1. So we met that condition that tells us we need to stop. So now let's go ahead and just draw the lines like I showed you guys in the previous example. And so this one right here is just going to go right there. And that will be the next one. And that's the third one. Fourth. Fifth. And the sixth one. So basically we have 1, and then we have another 1 here, 0, 
1, 0, and a 1. So 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 is the binary representation, it's the unsigned binary representation of the number 53. So anyway, that was an example of how you can convert a whole number into an unsigned binary number. So thank you guys for watching. Um, you guys have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.